we're going to be making paintings based on the movie Up. The movie Up is a 3D animated classic. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's a great movie. Probably will make you cry a couple of times, but that's okay. We'll be talking about 3D versus 2D. 3D movies are made using the computer and something called rendering. They have software programs to make the characters move. 2D animation is different because they use paper and pencil and nothing but their imagination. They draw the same character over and over again until they make it move. Today we'll be talking about layers in the art world. When you're making a sandwich, sandwiches have multiple layers. You have tomatoes, that's one layer. You have ham, there's the bread, the cheese. All of those are different examples of layers. In the art world, layer just means doing more than one color. So right now, this is all one layer, okay? If I go back and I add some bricks on here using watercolor, that will be a second layer. If I go back into a second coat of red using watercolor, that will be a two layers of watercolor. If I go back with oil pastel and color this in over the watercolor, that will be also two layers. You're going in and adding a top of it. That's all layers means, okay? So for this project, we'll be doing at least two to three layers on our up painting. Today I'm going to be talking about oil pastel. Oil pastel is also wash resistant, just like crayons, but they're a little bit thicker, and so it looks a little bit brighter. So, for today's lesson, I want you guys to go back and add any detail that you do not want it to lose. Like this right here, it looks a little bit pink, but I want to be red. So I'm going to go in now, I'm going to color it in red. Ooh, that's a really ugly red. I'm glad I did that because now we can see, but it will wash it. Oil pastel is very easy. All you gotta do to wash them is get tissue paper. And rub it down. And that's how you wash oil pastels. Otherwise you get mud like that. That's okay, I can fix with some white. That's clean enough. Go in, kind of blend. All right. Add a little bit of the bottom of the balloon here. So. This balloon, the way it is, it's perfect, but I can go a step further and add value. In the art world, value is the lightness and darkness of a color. Value is what artists use to make something look more 3D versus 2D. Not to confuse you with animation. When I say 3D, 3D is short for three-dimensional. It appears that you can touch and feel it. So if I want to make this balloon look more realistic, I can go back, add some highlights of light and shadow to make it look more 3D. So I might go in where there's that little highlight right there, color in a little bit of pink and blend it. Maybe some right here too. And blend it. Where there's shadow, I'm going to be using purple. So right here I'm going to add some purple and blend it with my finger. And that balloon's pretty good. I'm going to do the same thing with the green. Find my green pastel. Color it in all the way. Now I can go in blue. It's a little bit, I can use blue for shadow or a darker green. Let's see what I have. I'm gonna use darker green for the shadow. So if we're overlapping shapes, some, this balloon is on top of that one, so it's gonna be casting a shadow over that balloon. So right here, we're gonna have just a little bit of shadow. 
and then I can blend it together with my finger. The part that's facing the sky is going to be the lightest part. All right, between. So red and green are also complementary. They're opposites on the color wheel. Next, I'm going to be doing blue, purple, and then around here, I'm going to turn that into red. Because when you mix red and blue, you get purple. All right. So let's find red. color on top of the green make it red I'm going to get some white to make it lighter maybe add a highlight here highlight there and add a little red again the reason I'm doing this is because it was green underneath and I want it to be red. Because when I mix red and blue, I get purple. So let's go ahead and do blue next. Don't forget to blow your finger. Get a lighter blue where the light touches. Maybe some white. And there we go. It's a good little. So we have red and blue. In the middle, I'm going to be doing purple. some blue to it for a shadow. Blend that together. And then my white for a highlight. Just there on top. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this video up and do the rest of my balloons.